Lucy got the sauce, bitch. What it do, YouTube, man? This your boy, Carolina Styles, and I am back with another video, man. I'm trying to tell you, but the daily vlog, I mean, these weekly vlogs will be coming up every week, even if I got to do a little vlog video. I told y'all we are bringing consistent content to the channel. So, yeah, I can tell by the thumbnail and the title of the video, we will be installing some Cadillac parts on the Carolina. Well, you know the Carolina. Anyway, so... We're not gonna keep one of the parts on there. I'm just gonna install it for y'all and show y'all how it look, give y'all an in-depth uh, how it look and all of that. And I'm um, gonna install the cluster. And if y'all know, these clusters are hard to find. And if you do find them, people want an arm and a leg for them. You know, so shout out to my mechanic. You know, he hooked me up. And I'm gonna actually show y'all my cluster that I had in the truck and then show you the cluster that I got in the depots and I'm gonna show y'all how to install them and how they look once they on the truck. Everything is just a plug and play guys. Everything is just a plug and play and I will show y'all all that in this video. Make sure y'all stay to the, stay tuned to the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn that notification up, come rock with the Styles game. All right, so these are the Cadillac D pillars. I'm pretty sure, um, Ain't too many people end up watching that video. I see what videos not to make anymore. But if you watch my junkyard video, I actually pull these up and show these in my junkyard video. But these are the D pillars for a uh, Cadillac Escalade. I actually got them off of 2005 Cadillac Escalade. Um, and this cluster right here came out of a Cadillac Escalade. What's that? EXT. Anywhere from like a 2002 to a 2000, I think, six. You can use the clusters and all of that. I will be trying to find some Cadillac roof racks. I will be trying to find those too. You know, I'm, I love the way some of the stuff looks on the Tahoe. And that's exactly why I got these right here. So, we will be installing this. And I will show y'all how to install this. Um... I actually done took the old cluster out and it's actually right here. So y'all get a good in-depth of both of the clusters, how they look. As you can tell, this is the old one that comes in the Chevy Tahoe's from the 2000 and I think it was it 2000 to 2006. That's these are the ones. No, I lied. Let me 2003 to 2006. These how these look. The other ones look a little bit different. And this is the Escalade. You can tell got the same gauges over here, different, but it just look different. But the one feature I like about this one that this one does not have is the temperature for the transmission. As you can see right here, it doesn't have the temperature for the transmission anywhere on this cluster, so you don't know how high. The transmission is actually getting i do recommend if you can find one of these to grab it because it does help you out a lot and it does show you the temperature of the transmission how hot it is if it's running at the normal temperature like it's supposed to it's supposed to be running at two close to that like 160 180 close to the 200 mark if it runs anything higher than that i advise you to check your um check your transmission cooler Try to get a transmission cooler on now. Just check your fluids and make sure it's getting cool like it's supposed to. But <clears throat> I'm about to go ahead and install this one first. I just want to do a comparison of both of these and show you how both of these look. They're completely different. But they have the same plug in the back. Same plug. They look exactly the same. They are shaped the same. They look, of course, they're different, but they got the same exact plug. So it's plug and play, guys easiest place. and this one actually never got taken out that truck it never got taken out that truck but i'm gonna go ahead and install the escalade 
the cluster first and then I'll go ahead and start the depots and I'll show y'all how both of those look on the truck. And I'll pick the camera up back in. All right, so like y'all already know, I done took it out already. And somebody done been back in and extended it up like the wires, unless they just pull them, which is a good thing for me. Everything still works perfectly fine. But um, like I said, the only thing you do is just plug and play and screw the wires in. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my, well, I'm gonna try to set up my GoPro so I can go ahead and get you that footage of it sitting right here while I install everything and show y'all the end product. she go as I showed y'all in that little clip right there the actual the um the caution lights and stuff does work so basically I'm about to go ahead and take it down the road so y'all can see how it fully works properly and show y'all that the temperature gauge for the transmission actually does work on top of the cooling and all of that extra stuff. Now, I don't have too much gas in here. It's some gas in here, but you know, y'all know gas price is a little high. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the piece back on. And then I'm gonna take it down the street and drive real quick. Then we are gonna come back and start the deep pillars and we gonna wrap this video up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff back on. favorite time of the video which is that cold start she ain't too loud not like she usually be but, but let me cut on the AC real quick before I go Alright, so 
as y'all can tell, zooming in right there, that that hand is actually is moving and transmission getting hot ahead of So now I'm about to go ahead and head back to the house. And um, we're gonna install those D pillars. And that'll wrap the rest of this, uh, wrap the rest of this video up. All right, so we done made it. Uh, we done made it back to the crib. Unlock that door real quick. We done made it back to the crib and now I'm gonna show y'all how to take those off and um, put the actual D pillars on. All right, so just like everything else, it's plug and play. We got one screw right here, and then the rest of this just pops out. But you got to be careful when you popping this stuff out because you will break you will break the clamps in it, and you have a clamp right there. You got a clamp right there and a clamp at the top. So one thing you do is take this. This is a let me focus. This is a seven millimeter. So once you take that seven millimeter off, you dig up in here, pop everything out. And I'll show y'all how the Cadillac D pillar look on this side. And then I keep this side on and show you how it look. Give you the comparison between the two. All right, so now I got this on. You can tell, I got that one, two, three clamps there. And you got that little piece right there. This is how it looks. I know mine's dirty, dirty, uh, but this is how I look. So now, you know, so you got that part for the screw to go right there. And you got the one, two, three, clamp right there. Like I said, I'm not gonna keep this on because I need to color match it, but I'm actually gonna show y'all exactly how it look. They're the same length and all of that, so I'm gonna show y'all right now. And that's how she look. Now I could take a spray paint and paint it black, but I got some plans for this. I want it to be the same color as the truck. I don't want to do this as a black, so it took a lot of pushing and pulling. Well, it took a lot of pulling, honestly, to get it lined up like it's supposed to. It lines up perfectly fine. The only thing I didn't do was put the screw in it. So, y'all hear them birds. So, that's one side. And this is how the other side looks. A lot of people like to keep these. I don't know why. They don't look that bad, but I, pr I prefer. I know y'all probably gonna talk about my junk up in there. But I prefer, actually, <coughs> the Cadillac Deep though. So I'm gonna show you how I look. I shut it. That just look. That just happened more. Well, when it color match on the vehicle. When it color. Some stupid birds. When it color match on the vehicle, it'll look so much better. But that's this side. And that's this side. So, like I said, I prefer this side here. So once I color match it, whenever I get the truck, whenever I change the color of the truck, when I color match it, that's how it's gonna look. It's gonna look the same color as the truck, it's gonna be just like that. And um, I might put an LED strip in here. I'm thinking about it hard. I'm thinking about cutting out a little LED strip with some double-sided tape on it and putting it in here actually work with the brake on That's a little cool little feature I'm thinking about doing. I don't know yet. I'm not too sure if I want to damage that because you know that, if I'm not mistaken, that's fiberglass and you know, you don't really want to mess up fiberglass like that, so. But yeah, so, like I said, I'm gonna give y'all weekly vlogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off on that note. Like I said, I wasn't gonna put both of them on because it needs to get, need to get painted and I was gonna keep that on there like that. But like I said before, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, turn that notification on, come rock with the Styles game. <sighs> Daily vlogs coming soon. And I just wanna give everybody a little message. I wanna thank all my sus my subscribers. I wanna thank all my new subscribers. We almost had 300 subscribers, which it don't seem like a, much, a lot, but 
when I when I start doing some of the stuff that I got planned for this truck, the channel will continue to grow, but it's gonna grow faster. And I'm telling y'all, the stuff that I'm doing to this truck right now is light work compared to what's coming in the future. Like I said, man, don't let nobody discourage you. Live your life to the fullest. Life too short, man. I seen everybody, I seen people who I went to school with passing at an early age, man. You just gotta enjoy life and be stress free. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody take your joy away. Just live, man. You know, I'm learning that. You gotta live. Like I said, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, turn that notification up, come around with the style game. Like I said, merch on the way, cars on the way, everything's on the way. Peace.